we took a bus to get from Hanoi to Sapa. I used an app called Vexera to book a bus. There are many buses to Sapa, but we used Sapa Group Buses Limousine Cabin VIP. The bus is scheduled to leave at 6.45 and arrive at 12.35. We went to the bus departure point at 160 Tran Quang Kai in advance. I had doubts as to whether the bus was really departing from here, but when I arrived on the day of departure, luckily the bus was waiting for me. The six-hour journey to Sapa takes about 30 minutes with a stop at a rest stop. Here you can use the restroom and have a quick bite to eat to satisfy your hunger. It's a sleeper bus, so you can lie down, but if you're around 70 inches tall, it might be a little uncomfortable. Traveling for six hours in a narrow sleeper bus is not easy. Nevertheless, it's worth it to see the stunning scenery of Sapa. We arrived in Sapa around 1.15. It had the feel of a country town. The food was not as satisfying as in Hanoi. Some buses departed at night and arrived in the morning. However, we chose to take a bus that departs early in the morning and arrives in the afternoon. There are several tourist points in Sapa. Most tourists use the cable car to get to Pansapan Mountain. The view from the highest mountain in Vietnam, Pansapan Mountain, is truly amazing. Sapa is in the highlands, it's always foggy. So, even if you go to the top of Pansapan, it is difficult to meet the clear weather. The day we arrived was also foggy and cloudy. So we decided to climb Hamlong Mountain instead of Fansipan for a panoramic view of Sapa City. The path from Hamlong Mountain to the viewpoint can be a bit confusing. There was fog, so it wasn't the kind of spectacular sight I saw in the photos, but it was still good enough. After descending from Hamlong Mountain, we moved to our accommodation a short distance from downtown Sapa. There were several lodgings a little farther away from the city that blended in with nature. I was able to rest in peace in the quiet and secluded countryside. Unlike Hanoi, there was no loud horn and only birdsong, I wondered if this was the same Vietnam. It was a pity that it was always foggy with no sunlight, but it was such a peaceful and secluded country town. The next morning it was still foggy. Unfortunately, it looked like we would never see the sun in Sapa. My four days in Vietnam were coming to a close. The Vietnamese rice noodles were so delicious. The other food was also very good. It seems that Vietnam is a country where you can come back to eat pho. In Sapa, I was disappointed that I didn't get to see the scenery that I saw in the photos. I would recommend taking a longer trip to Sapa with more time to relax. Next time I come to Vietnam, I would like to visit other cities such as Ho Chi Minh and Da Nang. I had a great four days. Cam beat Vietnam. Cam on ban.